things. Everybody has them. You might not think you do, but you do. And a lot of them. Now, I'm not talking about these pretty little labels. You get some pretty little presents. And I'm definitely not talking about them pesky little labels you get on every Tesco product. They take hours to get off and cost countless nails. No. I'm talking about them snapshot judgments that everybody has. Me, I have a lot of labels. We start with the obvious fat, tall. These are the obvious ones, but they still hurt. But then you get the more inventive ones, like four eyes. Because four, they're better than two. But then, you get the creme de la creme of insults, the A star of pain. We have Thomas, the tank engine. I'll let that settle in for a bit. Now, I'll explain why. My name is Thomas, and I have these. Yes, commonly known as train tracks. Put two and two together, and it's actually quite clever. See, in Mean Girls fashion, I have this. Oh, upside down. Now, I have many groups in my school. Start with the, the nerds. I'm the president of this group. And I have, my, I have my certificate and my badge in my bag backstage. Next, we have the jocks. The strongest, not the smartest. Then we have the plastics. Yes, the girls who look like they jump right out of a tango advert. But then you have the comedians, the people who make you LOL in real life. Then you have the charmers, the boys who think they can get every girl they want. No. But then you get the genuinely nice people, people you can sit with and have a laugh. Labels. I hate the word. I hate what it stands for. I hate that you'd have to change yourself to fit other people's expectations. Now, other people have role models as celebrities or sports enthusiasts or mathematicians, but not me. Mine's my nan. My nan used to say to me, life is a game. Don't play by anyone else's rules. And it, it's true. You shouldn't. It's your game. Be yourself. Be you. You are unique. 